so tomorrow is my 40th birthday. Uh, I know most people are kind of bummed, but really I'm actually pretty impressed that I have survived this long with all pieces intact for 40 years. Not only that, I've been through two kids trying to kill me while they got out. I mean, I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> um, I've, I've kind of been thinking, like pondering, you know, what have I learned? What have I learned over 40 years that maybe I should have learned sooner? Uh, what haven't I learned? Uh, you know, what am I looking forward to in the future? And I've just kind of been mulling over my life, which sounds really, really weird and egotistical, but uh, you know, I've lived a pretty good life. I've screwed up a lot. I've done um, some really stupid stuff, <laughs> uh, but I've, I've had a lot of really great life experiences. I've helped a lot of people. I lived a really cool life. Um, and I am very happy with where I am now and I look forward to where I'm going to be in the future. Um, did anything go how I planned it to? No, like not, not at all, no. <laughs> and I, it's so funny to me because I, I am a planner girl. I am a planner chick and so um, as much as I plan ahead for things and, you know, being of a preparedness mindset in that, you know, I know what I'm supposed to do in first aid situations. I am CPR certified. Um, you know, I do buy a few sets of clothes when they go on clearance or on sale for the kids for the next year ahead. Um, I, I try very hard to be prepared for as much as I can because life absolutely does go crazy. Um, I hoped, I had hoped that at 40, I, well, here, I imagined for myself previously uh, at, that 40 would be different. As a young person, obviously, I thought 40 was ancient. I thought 40 was, was close to death. And <laughs> that's obviously not true, especially now as, as we are living in a healthier environment, as we are taking better care of ourselves. Uh, we're obviously going to live longer and with better health. Knock on wood, right? Um, that's, that's kind of the goal. Um, I had kids older. Uh, I never, I never expected, I never planned to have children. Uh, so, you know, great surprise. Uh, but I didn't exactly see that for myself at 40. I had hoped that I would be married and settled down on some sort of farmstead. Uh, maybe even a mountain house. Maybe even a mountain house with a few wolf dogs. And uh, someone I loved very much with a bunch of best friends just kind of being country hippies. <laughs> that, yeah, honestly, that's, that's where I saw myself. I saw myself creating an updated country self-sufficient Lilydale. That's what I expected of myself. Um, I'm not there yet, but the good news is I got plenty of time to get there. I'm not really concerned about that. Um, I think a lot of people get upset as they age because they have this fear of death and dying. And as a medium, I don't, I don't have any of that. Uh, I know, I know I'm going to die at some point. I know that I have potentially several exit points in my lifeline, uh, but I intend to, to stick around to the very end, which I, I figure should be about 113. My, my hope for my future self is that I die quietly, peacefully in my sleep at 113 and that I get to see uh, my children grow into wonderful people and uh, I get to rescue a few more dogs and do good works. Uh, yeah, that's that's my hope for myself. I'd really love to have that, uh, that hippie farm stand <laughs> for all my spiritual peeps. Uh, I'd love to continue um, to advocate for all our autistic and neurodivergent peeps, uh, that's become a pretty 
a big part of my life at this point. Um, I never expected, uh, I mean, it's, it's obvious to say that having kids will change your life. Kind of obvious, it does. Uh, but certainly in different ways than I expected. I think if we taught the realism of it in high school, uh, my hope would be that people would wait longer to have children. Uh, not because, I mean, well, we have too many people on Earth as it is, but I, I want people to understand the reality of it. I mean, even with Audrey being born my second, uh, they were like, okay, have fun, peace out, see you with a newborn and a toddler. And I was like, I, I, I barely knew what to do with the first one, and now I have two. Uh, <laughs> that was that was certainly a shock to my system. Um, obviously, it would have been significantly easier uh, had I had a supportive partner and, and a network of mom friends, but um, that wasn't in my cards at that point in time. So now I try to be a supportive mom friend especially long distance because I, I didn't have anyone close to me. Um, so I, through the wonders and uh, miracles of technology, uh, we can video chat, you know, whenever we want and through Facebook and, and all that great stuff that uh, we didn't have 10 years ago and certainly not to the point where we have it now. And so I am supremely grateful for technology, for connecting people, um, and for allowing us to kind of keep records because I would like to go back at 50 and watch this and be like, it's been 10 years, what have I learned now? Um, what would I say to my 18 year old self? Uh, I would say, I would probably say have more fun. I was, uh, I was super focused on what I thought my life was supposed to be. And I was super focused on the idea that uh, I was only worthy if I had a partner. And looking back on that, I think that's the part that I hate the most for myself. I was so focused on sacrificing parts of myself and becoming someone else so that I would be loved by someone else that I wasted so much time not finding me and being me and, and having fun and living and doing the things that I wanted to do. Uh, I, I would tell my 18 year old self, be single, who cares? No one, no one else needs to know why you do or don't have a partner. No one else needs to know if you're getting, getting married. No one else needs to know if you're having kids. I, those people have nothing better to do than talk about other people. Find new friends. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, yes. I wish that the, the partnership industry, because that's really what it is, that I wish that the partnership industry um, didn't thrive so much on putting other people down. Um, I mean, same thing with the women's beauty industry. I wish we could make makeup and fashion about just being ourselves and being comfortable in our own skin uh, and, and celebrating the beauty that we are and not becoming the beauty that we aren't. Um, I think that we all need more hands-on life skills. I think everybody needs to learn how to sew and cook and change a tire and check oil and repair leaks and uh, drywall a wall. I think everyone should have a broad knowledge base when it comes to life skills. Uh, I was lucky enough to be exposed to a lot of that so that I had those skills when I needed them. Um, but I mean, I would, I would love to have more. And so uh, I've spent my life uh, dedicated as a lifelong learner and I will continue to do that. Um, not only so I can help myself, but that, so that I can be of service to others. Um, I also wish that uh, religious people weren't so preachy and, uh, and jerks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish, I wish we were all atheists so that we could be more respectful of each other's belief systems. Um, I, I know a lot of people from a variety of religions, and I have to say uh, the most kind people I know are Mormons. Uh, the most open people I know are atheists. And the most, uh, the most people with asshole tendencies are absolutely Christians and Catholics. Um, and I mean that obviously.
obviously is a very broad base because most people just identify as that and not necessarily Methodist or Baptist. Baptists are kind of jerks too, uh, but I don't know enough of them to really make a, a broad statement like that. Um, but I know more people that are willing to preach to me about a, a revised edition Bible that have never, ever, ever learned a word of Hebrew and have no idea about the the very dark and um, and hateful <laughs> hateful history that uh, the Bible has. Um, I look forward to um, being able to celebrate uh, my faith openly in the future. Um, I don't I certainly don't preach about a pagan path. Uh, I don't speak about the tools that I use and the path that I follow. Um, I, I wish that I was in a place where I could and I look forward to being able to do that. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, despite them being the most broadly screaming about being persecuted, uh, the truth is our United States society is really based upon the Christian faith. Um, you know, even even to the holidays that the kids celebrate in school, you know, and if, if you actually look at it from that point of view, uh, you know, there's never an attack on Christmas. Christmas stole you. So, you know, whatever. Christmas stole, uh, the Christians stole a lot of pagan holidays in order to uh, force people to become part of their religion. Uh, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting out from my soapbox. Sorry. Uh, pet peeve, pet peeve. Um, but I, I really, I hope that in 10 years, each of us, no matter our, our phase or our past or our sexual orientation or, you know, any of that, I, I hope that, um, we are able to celebrate ourselves and the beauty of what we believe in more openly and freely. Uh, you know, seeing the attacks on Black Lives Matter, seeing the attacks on, um, other sexualities, relationships, and their ability to marry or adopt or do good or donate blood even. I mean, I, it's insane. It's insane. And I hope that in the next 10 years, we will certainly rise above that um, and find, I, my hope obviously is that we find the United States being best that we can be and really helping ourselves and others that we have in the past. So, uh, I really look forward to people coming together and I know that that's kind of crazy. I acknowledge that, totally acknowledge that that's a little bit crazy. Talk about high on my horse wish list, right? Um, world peace, United States being awesome, people being able to celebrate themselves and what they believe in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've always lived with rose colored glasses, so uh, 40 years of life has not changed that. Um, but I. I celebrate that I still have maintained the parts of myself that I like while being able to work and transmute through the parts of myself that uh, I struggle with. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm nowhere near perfect, but I am, I'm a lot better than I was. And I, I, I celebrate that uh, today and every day, today and every day, there's always something, there's always something to be done. And I think that's the beauty and the adventure in life. Um, you know, I don't fear another 40 years. I would fear another 40 years if I was stagnant and I didn't have anything to look forward to. And I only had the stories of my past. My past has awesome stories. Uh, but I, I look forward to creating new and wonderful stories in the future to be able to, to share with others and, and living for new experiences, you know, obviously not jumping out of airplanes because no, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I look forward to doing a lot in the future, you know, a lot of charity work, um, a lot of art classes. There's, there's just, there's so much that, that I look forward to doing. And of course, you know, my, my hippie farmstead, that's, <laughs> I love that. I really do. Um, it incorporates all the things that uh, I take joy in and pride in. I love working the land. I love helping animals. Um, I love bringing people together in kindness and in service to others. Um, there's just something so amazing and moving and beautiful to me about that. 
Uh, so, you know, get up next 10 years, next 10 years, we'll, we'll have an update for that. Maybe five. I don't know. I got a lotto ticket for my birthday tonight, so we'll see. <laughs> Uh, but here's to, to 40 more that are even better than the last ones and uh, to 40 more after that. And then hopefully we'll just round it out with a celebration of love and music and uh, an awesome hippie homegrown organic vegetables. Yep. All right. Happy birthday to me. Thank you guys for listening. I'd love to know, um, you know, what you think is you look back where you are now to where you are 10 years ago to where you were at 18 you know how much has changed for you what stories and adventures are you looking forward to um it's always nice to look back but it's even better to look forward with the spring pad of what we have behind us thanks guys bye